Vendors at the Queen's Park Savannah have been told to close up shop and clear the space of all vehicles, tents, stalls and other items from midnight on November 3rd to 4 p.m. on November 10th. That's based on a letter dated October 22nd issued by the Agriculture Ministry to President of the Association of Local Culinary Ambassadors, Michael Williams. The document cites rehearsals and the military parade set to commence and end at the Savannah as part of the Remembrance Day and wreath laying ceremony at Memorial Park on November 10th. Williams, who says that the association usually gives way for events like Independence Day, rejects the order to close. When you come to a, a time where you have a clear-cut case of bullying, political bullying, of telling me as a president to tell my members they mustn't vent for a week because you having a ceremony Sunday morning for several hours and you want us to stay home a week prior to that. I have a problem with that. According to Alka, it is not in keeping with their usual mode of operation in preparation for that event. The day of the, of the ceremony, the night before we normally cease vending, we clear the area, we wash down the area, we sweep up and everything, and we give way for the ceremony, for, the, for they to have their parade on Sunday morning. It does not affect us because our vending starts at evening, 5.30 beyond. Right? And I find this is unreasonable. It's an evil, wicked, bullying kind of attitude they have recently eh? of trying to bully poor people. Shade Daniel owns BNF, the Juice Oasis. The single mother of four is expressing concern over how the situation stands to impact her and by extension, her children. I get help now and then, but at the same time, I still have to provide for them. So. All these days they want us to not be in the savannah to do anything. I'll just be at home, my kids will be at home, they'll kind of take them to the school because I won't be making money. So that will affect us very bad. So I'm hoping that this situation could be resolved as soon as possible and that they will have an understanding and things could go back to normal. Williams claims that he visited the agriculture ministry to voice his objection. What they said to me is that a uh, few members in the panel that were planning this said that we should stay home. That is not acceptable. What are you doing in the interim leading up to Sunday? This Sunday? Yeah. We are going to continue doing what we are accustomed to. We are continuing doing what we said in the memorandum of understanding. Right? We are going to continue vending each day from Sunday, go right back to the next Sunday. Each night from 5.30 to 12 in the night, we are going to continue vending that is our legal rights as an organization. That is our rights. No one is going to take that right away from us. Alka tells us if the government persists with the closure, the association will be forced to take further action. Any agreement to stop the vending at the Queen's Park Savannah in the designated area is going to be met with serious legal challenges. We are going to sue for compensation for each member and their employees. We're talking about close to 200 people. Alka represents 62 vendors at the Savannah.